buried in the historical record for the fall of 1903 in Van Meter, Iowa, is one extraordinary week when a giant winged creature crept out of a coal mine and terrorized the town. The creature was said to be half human, half bat. It stood over eight feet tall and had these giant featherless wings like a bird. Author Chad Lewis came to Van Meter to uncover the true story behind the legend. I thought, well, this is going to be a fun case, but it's going to be very short because it was obviously a hoax. But as we started digging, we found there was a lot more to it. As Lewis would discover, the arrival of the visitor began suddenly in the middle of the night on September 29th, 1903. Approximately 1 a.m., local businessman Eugene Griffith was coming back to Van Meter after a day of travel. And he noticed a mysterious light hovering over the building. He thought it was a robber. The people that actually saw this monster, they claimed that he could jump from this building to that building. It disappeared, only to reappear across the street. And Eugene Griffith was amazed by this, had no idea what was going on. People thought the light was nothing more than robbers with lanterns trying to scope out the bank. But they soon found out it wasn't. The following night, fearing the bank was in danger, Peter Dunn, the bank manager, arrived to protect the town's funds. At 1 a.m. here, the sound of someone strangling. At that moment, a bright light started shining into his room. Mr. Dunn grabbed his shotgun loaded with buckshot and blasted at this creature, shooting out the bank window. In order for Mr. Dunn, a well-respected businessman, to blow out the front window of the bank, something must have terrified him. Peter Dunn was the boss. He run the town, Pete Dunn did. Whatever he said, that's it. So if he believed in the monster, everybody did. 